Hey guys, welcome to our very first original podcast. And so this is going to be me, Adam, and my sister. Hi. Cecilia. Cecilia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about, we're going to do our, this is like our pilot episode. Yep. And so we're going to talk about uh, toys. And not just any toys, but toys from our childhood, from our past, growing up uh, in the early 90s, since we are kids in the 90s. Um, regardless of what you say, I still think, I, I argue with you that we are still kids from the 90s. So We were little, real little, little, little kids, ahead. but okay. Let, yeah. let, let's start with talking about that, okay? okay. I, I say we're kids from the 90s because it doesn't matter when you're born. Like, I was born 88, so I'm on the cusp of, like, the late 80s, like, the, the edge of the 90s. But what your childhood memories are, and that's all 90s because... Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, two thousand, right? We yeah, reached, we brought the two thousands, but that was our teenage years. Well, I wasn't a teenager in two thousand. I was still, I was still like you 10. Were ten. I was, I was like nine, going to ten. Yeah. So but you remember all the old stuff? Yes, the that's 90s. okay. I say nineties are air because that's when I played mostly with toys. Yeah. So, so yeah, so we're kids from the nineties, and so you know, I have a um, a couple of toys for for us to bring up here. So we're going to talk about the toys and the commercials and the things we grew up with, um, things we remember, we even owned, and um, maybe we can talk about like the commercials and like what that was like for us, because that's a whole conversation. But um, the first toy I'm going to bring up, and I'm probably even going to put it on screen or a little picture of it or something, is Skip It. Skip It. Do you remember Skip It? Was oh, it that what kind of like jump rope where you it twist around it, your it ankle? Was like a cheap little plastic that used to tear up your ankle. Yes, I and wanted one so jump. bad. Yeah. Yes. And it would count and it would say, right on. Cool. Let's skip it. Yes. And it would also certainly count, right? The, how many skips you've done. Count. Yeah. And, and you would always try to see how much you can beat the other person. Yes. I've done it maybe like a few times in my life, but we never yeah. owned it. I never owned it. I maybe tried it once and I sucked at it, but I mean, it was all, I, th- I feel like it's only because I didn't own one, but I think I, I would have. Yeah. I think I that would be cool. Yeah. I tried it with a few friends and, and I got yeah. five or six. It's not as easy as they make it look. In yeah. The and in the commercial, it was just these kids were. were, were We'll talk about that soon too, but these commercials are made to look like it's so kids are the easy. Best time of their life, and that's exactly you know. It's so easy and so fun. It's so easy and it's so fun. And imagine if you can just like get with your group because everybody in those commercials, they all had it. Yeah. And you weren't you weren't a cool kid unless you were you had the product. Yeah. Um, and we were we didn't have the products. So we I, we weren't cool. <laughs> no, we weren't. We cool. weren't cool. We, we didn't have cool. it. I wanted we were, it, but we, we, we were, didn't. We were poor. We were living in. I mean, I don't know if we were. I know. Our parents like disguise that, but I, I we weren't rich kids. We were not no, rich kids. but we had some cool toys. We did have some pretty cool toys, I would say. Yeah, but Skip It wasn't to, one of them. Skip It wasn't one of them. Nah, we, we we went to Kmart a lot. I remember back in the early nineties, and yeah, um, back when Kmart was a thing, and mommy used to put a lot of stuff on layaway for us. Yeah, Kmart, and yeah. some uh, every so often Toys R Us too. Every so often, I and remember we were going, to, go to yeah. Toys R Us. Yeah, that was like maybe like on our birthdays or closer to yeah. Christmas maybe. And I never understood Toys R Us because I'd always see all these great Toys R Us commercials and all these commercials for these for these toys. But every time I went to Toys R Us, every time they had that toy, um it was never there. They never yeah. had all the toys that I was looking for at Toys R Us. Same here. I do remember that. actually remember? going there looking for a specific toy. Like I seen on the commercial. Yes. I look for a ribbon. I remember ribbon dancer. Like that was one thing. Ribbon I was, dancer. Yeah. I remember what that is. Like it's one of those things. It has like a ribbon attached to the end. It's like a stick. And then you go like this and it just spins around and you twirl with it and you dance with it. I'm going to find it for here. I'm yeah. Sure. I've always wanted I, a ribbon dancer. And I know I always look for a ribbon dancer. I can never find it. Went to Toys R Us. Couldn't find it. Went to Kmart. Never found it. Ribbon dancer. Yeah. Do you remember that? Mm-mm. Do you ever, I remember the sound ribbon dancer. I don't mm-hmm. remember what it was like. Well, one time in Sacred Dance, years later, I was maybe about maybe 10, 11. So did you ever see we pulled out ribbon dancers? They had ribbon dancers. That's what that was? Yeah, for us to I dance with and twirl. Ribbons. No, those are called ribbon dancers. And I, I was like, oh my gosh, I loved it. I wanted, I finally got to dance with the ribbon dancer. Ribbon dancer. Yes, ribbon. The girl, I remember in the commercials, the girls would twirl it and spin. They're having so much fun. They look so pretty. And I just wanted a ribbon. I never found the in stores, but somehow dance. my dance team at the church had ribbon dancers for us to dance with. <laughs> That's crazy. I remember yeah. one of the things I looked for specifically for years as a kid, they had this commercial for the Spider-Man, all posable. You mm-hmm. can pose them in, in, in any way. And back then, you know, everything was was like just popped in together with those ball socket type of things. Oh, I remember I those. They only go this way. Even their elbows didn't. Yes. Bend. It was all arm. Mm-hmm. And it was a karate chop action. And that was the only thing that would bend. You'd have to push a button or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. 
But that all posable Spider-Man, I, I spent years begging mom and forcing her to take me to different Toys R Us and different things around the city. It was a very different time because back then you couldn't go on eBay. Yeah. You can't look it up and you can't right. go on your phone. So anywhere I went, mom, there's a Toys R Us. They may have it there. And for years I bugged her about it. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I never found it. Um, <laughs> but I, when well, they came out with Spider-Man 2004 toy, for a brief second, we'll go to 2004, they had that cool Spider-Man I own, this one, that one right there. And that's the original one I bought. It came, came with the motorcycle. It was weird. Oh, really? But he's posable. He, he, he's pretty much that kind of posable idea. I mean, not fully posable, yeah. but he, he's the closest I ever got. I was so happy. And that, you know how much that thing is, is, is worth? I'm going to brag for a second. You know how much that thing is worth? No. I found out only because I went to Frank and Sons. Uh -huh. And I go, yeah, it's probably going to be like 50, 60 bucks, like 100 bucks, you know, 2004. Like, you don't, you can't find that anymore. It is a really good figure because when yeah. I came to Spider Man 3, they changed it and made them smaller and weird. Nobody yeah. But they're selling this uh, for $300. Oh my gosh. That's I'm crazy. Open. Right now, just the way it is, $300. Yeah. I'm like, Dang, that's, that's that is crazy. Three hundred dollars, but you so, know, I'd say if it brings you back those memories and nostalgia, then I'm like, it's worth it. Some some of those things yeah. are really are worth it because it brings you the happiness, the memories, and yeah. It reminds you of of, of the good times. Mm -hmm. You know, and it kind of brings you back into that old world of, of where we were then. And even then, I know we we idolize it and and make it you know more but it, it is cool sometimes when life gets tough to kind of go back and remember that we were we were in santa paula living in a mm -hmm. tiny little apartment we, we had we had a cheap little tv we, we watched uh the power rangers and all the all the cool yeah. stuff and we saw you know mom, mom would get us uh mcdonald's and stuff like that and and you know and they always had those little mm -hmm. toys in there yeah before we get to the mcdonald's toys i got another one for you uh do you remember stretch armstrong Stretch Armstrong, yes. Had that, that haughty voice of Stretch Armstrong. Yes, yeah, Stretch Armstrong. I wanted to try it. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to it. Stretch him. I wanted to try that. Yeah. I had school with that. Stretch Armstrong. Stretch I think we. Yeah, was it our neighbor? So who had that? Was Somebody I think had... I think it was our because I remember trying. Uh, I I stretch. Him, yeah, we. Felt weird. I think we both stretched. You got one and I got the other. I think yeah, it was our neighbor's toy. That makes sense yeah. to me. But it was um, it was weird. Yeah. It was weird. It wasn't as fun as the commercial. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Remember, it was a little difficult to stretch out. And also... And he didn't retract fully. It was like a slow... Yeah, it like, took... Oh, I think it maybe have taken a few hours for him to go back to... To go him. all the yeah. way back. And then you stretch him again. You're like, oh, yeah. okay, well, in five hours, you'll be back. Yeah, it's like I stretched him out. Now what? <laughs> what do I do? And all those kids had so much fun, like, elbowing him. And yeah. Throwing him against the bed and all this stuff. Him stretching and launching him forward. So I did it, I'm like, after 30 seconds, I'm like, oh, this is not We're like, oh, movie. this is not fun. Maybe he has a broken one or something. <laughs> That's <what I> <laughs> um here's another one for you uh oh we didn't own these ones i think brandon did uh sock and boppers yeah like sock and boppers yeah sock and boppers i love that because it's like we... give kids these big old air filled pads and just yeah. have them just but you know what? those things hurt them. those things really do hurt they don't feel good no who, didn't we, we play with them with, didn't we play with them with the barcena boys yeah and you cousins? knocked my block off and that hurt hit each other <laughs> that hurt Kevin's big head and dunk. Yeah. And then Matthew came up and he jumped and he clocked me across and I go, Oh, that did not feel good. Yeah, they really hurt. Yeah, it really hurt. I mean they were they looked Speaking fun. I remember the song Sock and Boppers, Sock, Sock and Boppers. boppers. Yeah. More fun than a pillow, pillow fight. fight. Exactly. But what both things hurt like heck. The funny part is, I had a headache after you punched me. <laughs> those things hurt. I know. I was, I was never gentle. Yeah, I was, I was like, I, I didn't like those sock and boppers. I didn't like them. Yeah, I thought they'd be more fun to be softer and would be laughing more. But when yeah. we started to kind of get headaches, I was like, this yeah, that wasn't cute fun. As I thought it would be. Yeah, it was definitely wasn't as fun. But I do remember the sock and boppers. Sock and boppers. Yeah, those are cool. And I'm thinking, like, those are just the coolest things you got to them. Oh my gosh, I haven't heard that in a long time. Sock and boppers. How about, ooh, super soakers? Yeah, don't they say super, this super soakers? I don't think, do they call them super soakers? I don't know. I don't think they call them super soakers. But I remember they're like those big kind of like you bazooka guns. Pump them, like bazooka. Like yeah. These big. Yeah. And those were always fun to take out and um, and shoot each other. But then you would like shoot two sprays and have to go run and then refill like a refill. It. You know what? The pressure of those, those hurt too. Have you, have you ever got a squirt in the eye with one of those? I probably did. Yeah, like I, I got squirt in the face. Somebody squirt me. I think it was one of her cousins. Oh. And it hurt. It wasn't. Oh. It wasn't fun. It hurt. That but I mean, sound fun. Yeah, 
I remember. I it, probably yeah. did. And the kids, whoever had them, they were so selfish. They would never let other kids try yeah. it. Yeah. If you had a super, if you're the one with the super soaker, he's like, you're selfish. You don't let and the kids try it. And it's funny because, like, honestly, if you put yourself, like, if I put myself in their shoes, I'd be like, they got, my parents got me one. It's only this one. It's my one time to finally use it because yeah. you don't get, you know, the commercials always make you think like everybody has a super soaker. Yeah. Go out and just play with your friends. And then the yeah. one time you have kids going out that you want to play with us for shooting water, you're like, I have a super soaker. I would be selfish enough. That's my one time yeah. to use that. Someone's like, can I borrow it? No. But they were expensive too. It wasn't like you, if you were to go buy what like you cheap. buy, they weren't cheap. It's like, it they were cheap. expensive. And so like for us, we would each want one. So it's kind of like, yeah. you know. You know, we needed mom would have to buy mom and dad have to buy two of them, but I'm like they were expensive. I think they were like a hundred bucks or something, weren't they? Back even back then. I don't even remember, but I don't. I don't. Yeah. I remember even back then they were pretty expensive, they were, but they, they look cool. They're they fun. Very popular. Yeah. And the thing is, and they're so right too, because looking back, you know, if we had bought that, how many opportunities would we have to use it? When we right. Use it, like I'm kind of over it now. Yeah. Either, either we grow out of it or something better comes along. Yeah. They're. I think they're good for like the summertime. I remember people always pulling those out. Fun. Yeah. During summer. Oh yeah. They were but, so much fun. Yeah, it wasn't probably practical, but uh, that'd be cool to have one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we had a better time of just filling up water balloons. Yeah, I was gonna say water balloons. Yeah, that was pretty fun. That hurt too. It hit each other in the face. And yeah, like, but that was better than the pressure of like a super soaker. That was high. better. Well, <laughs> yes, yes, but I, I I I don't know if it was you. I, I hit something for the face. Probably. Do you remember that one time how me? <laughs> You randomly filled up a water balloon <laughs> and we're living in uh i think in hammond we're uh -huh. living over there there's a little girl at her mom do you remember you and i filled up a water balloon and we tossed it over. What? <laughs> we tossed it over our van and it hit the mom and little girl <laughs> and we ran in the no, house we did it. Yeah. So remember we ran back at our house i pretend like it wasn't us and they're looking around the little girl's screaming the mom's like looking around like where the heck did that come from i feel I mean, so bad but nobody expected it was us that. because we were always pretty nice kids we're, or no we were always really nice probably even goody two-shoe kids sometimes so it's like no one suspected us That's and hilarious. our mom and dad had no idea i don't even know where they were wow. you know it was just us so we had that idea you said hey let's fill up a water balloon and let's throw it at him. And I said, oh, okay, that sounds cool. That sounds funny. I was like, but wait, what if we get in trouble? You said they won't see us. The van is right here. It's blocking <laughs> between the van and our house. And I hit the mom? We both did. We, we tossed it together. We were both oh, like, Remember we hit like the mom and funny. the little girl? Like, because they were like going into the apartment. That so familiar. Yeah. We used to have a lot of... You, yeah, you know, I mean, and that's the thing too, because we're, we're talking about our whole childhood. Yeah. Let, let, let's let's go to Hammond for a second, because a lot happened in, in Hammond. We're living in, in North Long Beach. Um, remember, we, we we had dad was working at Nissan, and he had all these different vans he leased. And yeah. One of them, the kids thought we were like the richest, coolest kids for having yeah. that, that little TV in there. Yeah. And and, and then sometimes we'd plug in the the sixty four console. Yeah. Back, I mean, I was late to the game. I was two years, two years after it came out, you know, by that time, our cousins already had it for two years. It's old. Yeah. I finally got my 64. I plugged it in and kids are like, you guys are the richest kids. Like, Adam, you're so spoiled and everything. Yeah. And then, but you, you go back to Hammond where we live and we're like, oh boy. This is, it was like, not. it was kind of ghetto. And also we, we remember we were the one house in that neighborhood. We were the, yeah. we were the single house in the neighborhood the and house. to the left, to the right, we were surrounded by apartment buildings. Do you remember that? Yes. Well, yeah, that was like an awkward living long strip of uh, apartment buildings. Mm -hmm. Then he had one random little alley of our house and then a house in the back of us. Yeah. And then another apartment building behind us was all apartment buildings. And across the street was that big um, metal gate that led to it had that parking lot again for all apartments. the apartment buildings. Yeah. We were the only one. Remember yeah. we, we, I, I had my friends, um, uh, Chris and Tony. Remember Chris yes, and Tony? Yes. And sure. Uh, their sister, Charday. Charday. Yeah. Charday. Yeah. yeah. They, they were, they, they were, were nice. Cool. They were really cool with me because when, when we first met, we met like over, over like Pokemon or, or, or Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. It was Dragon Ball Z. I think we're playing in the yard we're and the yard. we just saw, so they just saw by. them. Yeah. Remember we, we, had, we had that wooden fence Yeah. and then the rest was like that chain link. But yeah. Just that, just, just that piece of wooden fence across and we just talked over there and we were just talking about stuff and we became friends. And one thing that was really sweet that they gave me, which I love, and it goes back to what we're talking about our toys is they, were, they gave me my very first Dragon Ball Z toy. I remember those. Goku, remember? Yes, I remember those those little Dragon Ball Z toys. I yeah. loved it. He gave me my first Goku and I, I'm like, this is so yeah. cool. 
that was they wild. they were so cool they, they introduced us cool. to like new things like that like dragon ball z i remember yeah. dragon ball z mainly because i was first learned about it was through them was through them yeah and so, so that was cool. like what 1998 when we first learned about it oh 97 yeah like i want to say 97 yeah. I mean, 98 that's a whole talk in itself is Tsunami yeah. anime and dragon ball z mm -hmm. but um the, the, it started to get really big at the end of the second season and into the third season yeah and so that's a whole conversation but just in a nutshell when we really got a hold of it it was being produced by cartoon network it got humongous and it became this huge new wave of uh, of anime here in the u.s and then you know it got really big when it was in the reader's digest for being too violent and it was all over burger king you remember i that? remember those burger king it toys all over burger yep. king and they had those statues and yep. that commercial get, get, get the statue and yep. get, get the training card yes i had you know oh, in fact yeah, i had gohan yes yeah, i had I gohan so bad. that was so cool that was my yeah, that was my gohan. very yeah my very first dragon ball z toy uh, was that gohan he was like a like a, like a statue chrome yeah you know great uh -huh. looking it yeah, came like with like a, it came with like a little card and everything i was like card. i was like oh that's was so like, cool like a, like a fake gold plated card. yeah but i treasured that like gohan i'm like that was my you first so oh, yeah i don't you know i think years. i lost it in storage with your guys i don't know what happened to it but i was like oh, I still kick myself in the butt till this day of like not taking better care of it but yeah that was that was pretty cool yeah the bowl what? cut original bowl cut yeah oh, gohan that was a thing though <laughs> yeah I mean, you had a bowl cut at one point. I had a bowl cut at many points. Yeah, you know, I had a bowl cut when I was three. Remember? <laughs> That's because her mom, my, her mom, cut my hair on her own and just maybe because I don't see pictures, I don't remember as much. But oh, I don't remember so much. I had a bowl cut. Oh, it was hideous. Cut. But you had a bowl cut. I remember your mullet. You had a mullet. I had a mullet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you had a gnarly mullet. I was like three or four it years old. Choppy. That was the only time you looked really Mexican. Yeah. You what was really... up with that? Yeah, the whole like it was mullet front, long and choppy. And Thank bad. our mom for that one. She did that to my oh, hair. That was, ooh, that yeah, was I was like, I don't know what she was thinking. That, that was. was it took me years to grow. Out. I finally started getting normal hair once I was about five years old. Once I started getting to yeah, kindergarten, yeah, people started complimenting you. Because yeah, then it started to get long, and it was always shiny and pretty. Mom yeah. was always sure to comb it and everything. Yeah, yeah, I that's when I started that. actually looking like a little girl, and people not confusing <laughs> me for a boy with my bowl haircut. <laughs> and instead of what we're doing at the time, at that time, okay, so at that time we're like real little kids living in Santa Paula. We were all over the Power Rangers. Yeah, and I remember it was all about Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles. Yep, Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles. And, and that was the, the thing. The, remember those old foam Ninja Turtle masks? Yeah, we uh huh. Used to wear? Oh, we were so dark. Who was? I think I was Donatello. I think I was. I was gonna tell you you were Michelangelo. Were you purple? I thought you were red. I was purple. You're I was purple. purple. Oh, I you know, sometimes I was yeah, Raphael. We did have we did have red too, I think. At one point. We did have a red one too. Yeah. I yeah. think we had a red one. We yeah. had a couple of them. Yeah. There. Really cheap foam that had a tab where you just put it in the yeah. slot, the open slot. But man, those are the best. Those, those are were awesome. Fun. We have a picture of you like doing this or something. You have the Donatello. Yep. <laughs> and, like you're in your chonies and everything. Yeah. And you have like this. Yeah, the Batman and Robin t-shirt. Because we were Batman, yeah, we were Batman and Robin, also Batman. slash Ninja Turtles. Remember, we Ninja had pillowcases for capes. Yes. We had our pillowcases yes. for capes. Yeah. Is that the one we replicated for Mother's Day? Yes, yeah, so we did replicate we that. We did replicate quote. that. We should show that. Adults. Yeah, we should show the I'm one from the kids into I'll the ones until again. adults. The adult yeah. one is kind of cool because then we incorporated Jason in there as our, like, yeah, kind of like our, yeah, yeah, as our, uh, kind of our additional turtle. Yeah. <laughs> we added him into the family. We gotta do that at, at some point. We'll add Laura and then we'll have like all four turtles. Yeah, we'll there you colors. go. We have all the turtles, you know, all, all the colors, colors. All the colors. And we see the progression as we as we But it was so funny because we used to always wear those. We used to always fight when Power Rangers came on, we would always like do the karate stuff and we had these yeah. cheap kicks and everything. Wear our costumes and everything. So pretty much oh, now as adults, not much has changed. Not much has changed. We should we're into karate. We're still doing karate. We still do karate. We're in You're we're, almost a black belt. Yes. We yeah, still yeah. have we cosplay. we have costumes we cosplay. Movies. Yep, you have Batman, Spider Man. I'm Batman. Wonder Woman. We're, we're living so we're living out exactly what we did as kids. Yeah, I mean, not a lot of people can say that. That's pretty cool. No, that's, we, actually, that's a blessing. We've never we still have that's that that mindset of being a child, getting to yeah. dress up, and also yeah. just going back into that world. Even though we're adults now, we can right. still hold on to that, go back there, and still do. That. And it's kind of nice. Yeah. I, I have a Brenda now, my daughter able to show her and she dresses up now now she knows things like link yeah. power rangers ninja turtles in fact she's wearing it she reminded me of you because you're wearing ninja turtle shirt today oh, yeah, I'm wearing the yeah i got for brenda i was able to or for our daughter my daughter i was able ninja, to ninja put a ninja turtle shirt for her today she went to her ninja turtles i was like that's pretty cool which is so cool because you know back yeah. then it was, it was you know 
obviously the stuff was like for kids and as we grew up you know it was just like niche like oh you like you know anime it wasn't nobody really knew about it until it started to blow right. up you know and then it became more of a part of the culture but but you know even then growing up you know i i remember in, in fact you know I'll, I'll put some put some stuff out there when when i was dating someone i was dating liz at one point you know she asked me when, when are you going to grow out of this you know when, when are you going to kind of like stop doing this and, and and buckle down and be you know oh. kind of more like when are you going to grow up being an adult when are you going to grow up like, basically you know, yeah yeah which I'm like you know I'm, I'm 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 working hard in school i'm doing everything right and like a fraction of my time i get to just have fun and be a kid and one day you know my kids will see this and well it's part know, of who you are when dad was young yeah. you know he, he's wearing spider-man and walking out into the grocery store whatever it is yeah for some people i think like us, it's, it's not fun. something we grow out of it's just something it's part of who we are what makes our yeah. memories what gives us joy now and you know it's so something you know also it's it's innocent it's humbling it takes a good to a happy place something we could share mm -hmm. with our family i don't think it's something we really grow out of and i don't think that makes you immature yeah. it doesn't make you mature just you know it's kind of a there's also beauty in it that you can still connect and yeah. still have the mind or have mm -hmm. look through the eyes of a child and still you know right. get you know happiness from you know your action figure that you buy or you yeah. know sh your old shows that you watch like hey you could still re appreciate it now even as an adult you know mm -hmm. If not even more, I think now I could appreciate even more right. now. Yeah. Because not only do we live it and get appreciated and get these kind of reminders, which kind of, you know, they'll help fill us with, with happiness and fond memories. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, we get to connect with our children and they get to see it. And then through their eyes, through their eyes, we get to be like, you know, this, this is kind of cool. Like we can show them that yeah. it's okay. You know, it, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's your thing, you know, and, and it's cool. Yeah. And it's funny because like, I've got to, because of that, you know, I got into cosplay, the convention, the women's conventions, and then, you know, we meet people, they say, oh, I like your, your Mikasa costume, or oh, I like, you know, this and that, and then just, they remember us, and then, you know, yeah. I've made friends that way. You made a, yeah, a lot of, I would say some, probably some of your I closest friends. I made a lot, friend, of, yeah. a lot of friends that way. And, so for those who don't know, Adam is very popular. Every time we go to conventions or anywhere, his costume is oh. always a big hit. Everyone's always coming up to him. He gets at least, you know, 10 pictures, <laughs> at least minimum, if not more. I mean, you're definitely it's a big funny. hit. So, I mean, and it's fun. But it's like a social thing too, which yeah. is great, you know, and, and we can always talk about this later on too, but you know, like, like, like Pokemon, the video game was like mm -hmm. a social event. There, there's different ways yeah. people can socialize right. with each other. And so, so I ran out of memory, but that's okay. We have a new memory card and it <laughs> should give us more time. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, yeah. So these are like social events and ways we can connect with each other. And so there's so many times where, you know, I get to meet new people that, that, that are young, that are feeling like, you know, yeah, I'm a teenager, but you know, I, I shouldn't be into this. Like, this is bad. And like, you know, um, you know, my parents want me to grow up or, you know, you know, and, and when I get to meet kids and they look at me and they're like, you know, especially as I grow older and they're like, dude, you're like, you're like 30 something now. Like you, you're out here cosplaying, you're having fun and yeah. you're meeting people and stuff like that. And they're like, you know, like you must, and it's so funny too, because I was talking to someone recently and they're like, how do you do it? And I go, how do I do what? And they're like, you know, you, you get to dress up and, and you get to, you know, just enjoy your time with your family and friends and, and not feel ashamed and have confidence and, and, and you and you have a job and and you take care of your responsibilities and you pay your bills and and, and you have a wife or you're dating somebody i'm like how could you have a life and do it? because so many people were just especially back then were like you know if you're a nerd and you dress up you're just you're in a basement somewhere and you're like you really and now i feel like the big image for people back then yeah they have those those you know things where you think just because you're into cosplay or then you must not be responsible yeah. you must not be mature you spend all your money on yeah. toys and everything I mean, all your yeah. all you obsessed is costumes and toys but you yeah. know what there there we do have a balance i know we see all this you know in the background you can see probably all yeah, your yeah, toys I'll, I'll, I'll and same here i have collectibles i have a bunch yeah, of collectibles, collectibles i have yeah i have a bunch of things but you I know also i do have we do have a normal house we have our normal you know and we oh, our yeah. homes are normal we have yeah normal things kitchen table everything's clean and you know but Absolutely. you know our our action figures are do have their place in our home and that's yeah. kind of something that also makes our home our home and to share with yeah. our families and us for us to enjoy it just it makes us happy brings us joy you know but definitely we are very responsible and yeah uh, yeah and it's just it's just so funny because i never heard it put that way before which is like you have this job you do this i'm mm -hmm. thinking like you know it's just you know there, there's these things you get to do in life you don't have to be ashamed about they're not these you know bad things with all these and so you know especially when it comes to the little kids those are my favorite because when i remember when we went out and i would dress up as spider-man yeah a party we get hired to do that yeah and then you know we would go it's like you, you look through the kids eyes yeah and with the whole suit up you know they're like are you spider-man's helper because yeah. in their mind they don't see a skinny mexican kid no they just see like 
this dude's Spider-Man. You're Spider-Man, you Spider-Man came, Spider-Man. yeah. Spider-Man. Sometimes they poke in Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. you Your niece, you're Brenda, she thinks you're Spider- she thinks her uncle Spider-Man. My niece thinks I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, she tells me all the time, Theo Adam, is, is, he's Spider-Man, that's Theo I'm Adam. Like Spider-Man. Every time we see Spider-Man, she thinks you really are Spider-Man. And, and you know, that's really neat. We do parties yeah. and have fun, and, and you know, when she grows up, and then, you know, she, she'll, have, she'll have her kids, and then she'll be yeah. like, you know, I think it was just it was just such a, a fun thing that I, I really just appreciate that I didn't I don't want to say grow out of it that I didn't choose to like follow what other people were saying which is like that's kid stuff you need to you know right you know because even now I only got all this stuff later on when I finally like after I grind through school and through work and get everything set and then you know if I'm blessed enough to buy a little something then you know I'll, I'll buy something even right if I don't always tell my wife everything we're not going to talk about the batmobile that you bought <laughs> um but yeah but but that's what I'm saying is that that old nostalgia you know mm-hmm. has all these things have its place and they bring happiness and they're fun to talk about and our mm-hmm. uncle benny is is a great example of a big kid i mean yeah there's there's always something but you know as a big kid some of my best memories that i remember is us just watching old movies back at at and we lived in bellflower and yeah we'd come over and we would just watch these old cheap cheesy yeah zombie movies or something zombie movies all Real, these old movies old and, horror movies yeah Dawn of the dead and frankenstein Frank, yeah frankenstein yeah. And, and even theo david took us to go see the remake of dawn of the dead yeah he yeah first showed us the, the first zombie movie which is night of the living yeah Dead. and so of course we grew up you know Loving all this With zombie weird stuff. Weird zombie stuff. Got in. That's when we got into Resident Evil. We got into Resident Evil. Yeah, started playing those games. I'm just. And, oh yeah, and it was yeah. funny too because this goes back to another topic, which is like, back then I noticed all those toys, but I was mm-hmm. obviously not a part of the, the into the franchise or anything yet. But yeah. Back then it was very marketed for obviously the older crowd, and that right. was you know that that was the the agenda for PlayStation, which is we're not marketing for the little kids like right. Nintendo. We're going for the teenagers. So I remember we were at Toys R Us once, and this guy was buying a bunch of the the I have them over here somewhere, the Resident Evil toys. And Resident Evil 2, 1998, had just come out. And oh, so okay. He was buying a bunch, and I looked at that going, "How grotesque! How <laughs> disgusting! Why would he buy that? Ew, mom, that's..." And now as an adult, I'm like, if I only knew the yeah. collector item, how cool yep. and how fun! You know what I mean? Yeah. These toys now, I mean, I, just to get them out of box, there's like a Leon Kennedy that I want to buy in box. It's like a hundred dollars. Oh, dang. I'm never going to buy it. Yeah. It's way too much. And to get them out of box, you're still going to pay like 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm like, tiny little thing that's small, but you know. Yeah. People love it. But yeah, back then, the way they marketed this stuff. Yeah. Like, listen to the commercials. Like, remember, we we're talking about like sock and bopper and, yep. and all these different things. All these the commercials were always like, it, it always it gave you the promise of, of two things like mm-hmm. a really cool looking life and um and and the reaction you want from other people right because it makes you feel good like um like wow like creepy crawlers remember creepy Bee crawlers. crawlers and every time you know the little brother you know snuck up on his sister and scared her and yeah. scared mom and dad and his big you know reaction you're just like yeah that that's me i can do that and I'm yeah make sense. i don't scare my dad i'm gonna be cool and, and everyone's gonna, 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 gonna laugh, cool. and, gonna laugh. Yeah. yeah it's just so cool and in my head i'm like that's exactly i need to get creepy crawlers you know create the bring up creepy crawlers i think later on i think mom may have bought one of our cousins creepy crawlers i think it was matthew she but all it is i think is uh what is it it's uh it's it's gummy worm it's gummy it's like gummies or mold or something like like gummy gummy yeah it's just a mold and you just pour it in while it's warm yeah and there was nothing like spectacular about it i remember yeah it's just a little gummy yeah and who on earth you know because like, yeah you're a kid you buy it so, so yeah. hard i bought it so yeah. hard like this is gonna scare it's gonna scare be so parents. cool yeah and you look at it now kind of like as an adult like oh that is i remember trying it once i got older like um helping matthew and i was already kind of like a teenager we were like 13 i'm like yeah. oh this is really not as cool as i thought it was it was i was so shocked like it's not it's, it's yeah not. but back then creepy crawlers like oh but creepy crawlers yeah and that's the thing you, you go for the reaction like i want that or you know you, you always they had like the super soakers and the cool kid had the big one. Yeah. So you always had the little kids with the super soakers, but then you got the mega size and that kid. Yeah. Business, and you're just like, that's cool. Like, yeah. Like that's Kevin and Matthew and Sassy. Like when I come out, I'm going to just like. The, the oh, biggest, baddest, toughest one of them. Toughest one. And of course, that's like the $200 one. And mom's like, 
Forget like it. on yeah. a water gun, get out of here. Well, yeah. go buy one from the ice cream man. <laughs> yeah, get the water hose. It's the same yeah. thing. Kind of did, like, I'll wet you. I'll squirt you with the hose. Yeah, like, 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 remember the Home Alone recorder? Do you remember that? Yes, I want. Remember that? Yeah, I think it was called Talk Boy, and then there was a yeah, the girl. Oh, yeah, talk girl. I remember the yeah. name. It's Talk Boy and Talk Girl. Yeah, I wanted a Talk Girl. I, I wanted a Talk and, Girl and, so and bad. They used to, like, they used to record each other, like, in secret, and, like, oh, I got evidence. Now. Yeah. And, and they're, like, really cool works, like, yeah. hey, it's done. Order a pizza, and then, you know, play this. Right. Show, it's, hey, it's done. Order, and the girl fell for it and i'm like yeah that's cool like, yeah I'm, I'm gonna do that i want to be like home alone i'm gonna explore new york city like, by myself <laughs> macaulay culkin i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna be in the tower the oh way they sold my these gosh these was kids. yep we yep. bought it so hard what did you get remember baby all gone you had that did i have a baby i think i was older than when i got it i didn't <laughs> yeah i didn't get it when it was popular back in the had. day yeah i think i because I, I wanted one for a long time i think once i became like 30 <laughs> yeah i was 13 and then i finally i saw it i was like 13 were you yeah, that old because i couldn't find one when i was younger it, they were hard to find the baby all gone it for some reason i don't know whether <sighs> money or something i just never got it i never got the baby all gone so when i got older 13 i'm like i remember I'm like I kind of still want one so i got one i took out kind of played with it but i was just like it was just it was really cheap and cheesy it was and it, really cheap it wasn't like, fun yeah it, it had that mechanism that would want a spring lock or something yeah you should put it in there and you yeah the food and when you put it to her the magnet popped and yeah and, and like, it was all good. Oh, you're like, uh, so was my fun. It wasn't fun at all. And nobody played. I didn't get to play. I was already older at that point. Awesome. So I remember baby roller skate. I remember that baby roller skate. Terrified you. I don't know that even know why I got funny. that doll in the first you place. So I remember when you saw it in the store, you so badly wanted it. You so badly wanted it. Because I also I wanted to take my time and like play with it. I was always scared of dolls for some, but some I wanted to try. I wanted to get a doll. I wanted to try. I was scared so of dolls. Funny. Of course. It was big. Yeah, it was. It wasn't small. Yeah, it was like eight, two feet, maybe. It was, yeah, about two. And, and yeah. given our size back then, it was like, whoa, that's basically almost our size. Yeah, it was big. It was a big doll. It was a big doll. Yeah. And then, and it freaked me out a little bit, but I was just, it was just hilarious because I had it freaked you out. Yeah. When that thing moved for the first time, you swore like a demon is just. Yeah, I thought it was real. It's walking towards you. You know what? Because back before I got the doll, I had saw glimpses of mom and dad. They were watching Chucky at one point. They didn't know. Oh, I snuck out of my room and yes, I saw glimpses of yes, Chucky. Yes. So I thought dolls were real and maybe the doll might try to kill me. Oh, and maybe the doll would have what is going to come to life. So I thought it was alive when it was moving. I'm like, oh man, it's alive. What if it decides to turn oh, on me? God. And then when you came at me, you picked the doll and you came at me with <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. I would go follow you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is it. This, how, this is how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it ends. <laughs> we had baby, baby roller skate. I remember that, that was a big yep. one. Yep. Do you remember the old Ninja Turtles they used to have? Yes. They used to hide in their shell. Yeah. If you remember, yeah. you used to open up the shell. Yeah. And it was on a hinge and you would pull out the little legs and you would yep. tuck in their arms and it was like yeah. a turtle didn't they have like two different heads one was like the ninja turtle head with the mask and then the other yes. inside was like kind of like a regular, regular turtle, turtle head, head. yeah and you switch you would, them you would, you would push it in you would flip it down and, and hinge up the other one yes and bring it up and then pull out the, and then they were like cool turtles again yeah 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 and then i remember they had all these cars i didn't have and, yeah uh, all these accessories accessories they sold hard back then right? yeah I wanted that so bad. I remember Ghostbusters. I remember we had the Ghostbusters toys. We had the we very had original. The Ghostbusters, but we never had the car and we never had the uh, Stay Puft Marshmallows. Yeah. I wanted that so badly. I know. Those the Ghostbusters are cool. had no ghosts. Yeah. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know how we even got a hold of those toys. I remember one day, mom and I gave us toys, and then another day, like years later, dad came and he gave us the Ghostbusters, yeah, the same toys, but, but then different show. costumes. Because it was the, it was the, the real Ghostbusters. Yeah, but they weren't even in box. They weren't even in box. Dad just gave us the figures. Where did he get them? I don't know. That's so where did we get? Where did we get those they were toys? In good they were. They're like, but they were like brand new. Brand even when new. we moved them, they were like brand new, like stiff, like brand new. Yeah, no one's ever. Yeah, like no one's ever, stiff. Yeah, like no one's ever played with them. Toys. Where did always... we get those toys? Where did Dad That's get those weird. toys? Yeah, they had the Ghostbusters, and they had another show, and then one called the Real Ghostbusters, and yep. they had different colors. And but I yeah. remember the car I always wanted, and if somebody had it. What, what was it? The people living in the back of us in Hammond, you remember? Hmm, I don't remember. I never it... seen their Ghostbusters toy. Okay, but they had. I think they had a. The car and then the stay puff and it was like oh man i wanted that so badly Dang. um baby roller skate 
You remember Teletubbies? Yes. That part 90s. Yes. That that Teletubby. Oh, oh my huge. gosh. I loved I had remember I had all four of the Teletubbies. Yeah. Like all I four of them. Yeah, and I love like my guy. You would like press their tummies and they go, uh oh. And had that like, holographic foil. Yep. Uh oh, uh -oh Yeah. We see play with it and move them and he had yeah. you know, all four. It took you a while to get them, but you I got all four. I was surprised. Yeah, those were so cool. Poe was so cute. You were yeah. Poe. And I was supposed to be Tinky Winky. Yeah. Oh, that was. Beatles, I try crazy. to find them now and I can't find the originals. I cannot find original oh, Teletubbies. I've tried to find, I online, they sell like these new Teletubbies. Is that repro reproductions are smaller. Yeah, they're not five. They're not I, I bought one for, um, yeah, I bought one. Oh, did you? For Brenda, yeah. And they're just, they're, they're not, the they're not the same at the all. The originals, because they're yeah. felt and fluff and plush. And yeah. And the, the, the hard molded plastic. Face. Yep. And I'm like, it really looks good. It yeah. Looks yeah. Those were cool. those were cool toys. Yeah, they People have like yeah they have remake now. Teletubby even on Netflix they have I think Did it. They really? Yeah, they remade Teletubby. Like yeah, they remade Teletubbies and yeah it was crazy. You know what? It actually, I learned uh, but recently I learned um, that Tinky Winky I guess was written online. Tinky Winky I guess was played by two different people at times, but there was one main guy I guess who played I don't, I think this is real one main guy who played Tinky Winky. Uh -huh. So I get but Tinky Winky froze the he uh, in real life he froze to death because Ooh, the guy who played really? TV yeah because i guess oh, he got gosh. he went out got drunk one time and he was out in the cold and he froze so he froze the next day so tiki winky the who played tiki winky froze so i was like whoa that was a fact that i learned i was like whoa that's crazy i'm like tinky winky i did not know that yeah I didn't know they were played by two different people yeah like there was that a main sense. person yeah i was like oh wow Ooh. yeah and teletubby yeah. land one of the the lands right there were like over the hills it's a real yes. i guess it's a real person's farm or house or place is it really? Yeah. I thought it was a big set. No, it was a real place. So I guess what happened also, too, I guess he kept getting uh, intruders after the show was over or maybe even during that people would come oh. on his land because it's private property. They'll come on his land, oh. come hang out and drink on Teletubby land. And just, you know, he got so sick of it. People trespassing to check out Teletubby land that he, he ended up flooding that land. So nobody would come back. He ended really? up, yep, he ended up flooding his land. How do you flood a land? Uh, because you know how it dips, it goes yeah. down. And, like he just flo he flooded with water. Oh. Yeah, so people could stay away. I never knew that. Yeah, he flooded it because too many people kept like trespassing on his property. I never knew that. Yeah, that, honestly, seriously, it's fascinating. I, I learned that in uh, my search for Teletubbies. <laughs> this was recently too. The Teletubbies. Yeah. I remember all these super soaker Teletubbies? Yeah. You know, it was really old Teddy Ruxpin. Remember Teddy Ruxpin? I do remember Teddy Ruxpin. I had the original, the big one. Yep. And he used to open it. You'd, you'd, you'd put his... Like the cartridge? Like a tape or a cartridge? Tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tape. And, and he would, and or a cassette. Would, there you go. Is it Gilgamesh or is that from, or is that from the, the blue thing? The Smurfs. I don't remember. But he had a bad guy. And they would talk about the story of Ruxpin Land or something. And yeah. He was like a hero. And yeah. I think at one point he had like a like a knight's helmet and a sword maybe yeah. thing or something else. But yeah, Teddy Yeah, he did have a knight's helmet and a sword. Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, right? It was uh, like kind of And there was like a princess at one point and maybe a, a, a caterpillar. A yeah. A little... caterpillar, I think. And he, he would move his mouth and I, yeah. I broke it because I would always put my finger in his mouth. Yeah, I remember that. And move him and then yeah. his jaw fell out one day and I go. <laughs> 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 i remember like, that yeah no like just his tongue oh yeah that was so funny he's that like yeah crazy. just the jaw moving broken was really creepy oh that was creepy. yeah that was i don't think he i think that's at that point that's when you let me have teddy ruxpin i was like you ugh. i think you, i taped his mouth i kept him but i taped his mouth a little bit and i kept him yeah so i used to play with him still teddy ruxpin i have the remakes actually the i have two of them the remake they remade oh, yeah teddy ruxpin so hold on to those yeah you still never they have remakes so they're kind of i think they're still in production or maybe yeah, stopped recently though. yeah they are they're, smaller they're, they're like 70 percent or well, you know they actually say like 20 25 percent yeah but they're so cute though i like them oh no they're cute they're cute i thought it, i had one but i lost that in the storage too no i have that you, you gave that? you gave it to me because remember you didn't want it you're like too cool you're like i don't need this one oh cool. now i regret it I yeah but i got it i saved i saved it <laughs> They had. Did you have a beetle board? I know I had the beetle board. Feature. Yes, did I did. Remember, I have the girl. I had the purple uh, one. Joe. Yeah, Joe, the yes. purple one. I had the purple one. That's right. We had the metallics. No, I just me. I had the metallic, but we had the original one, which I think was yes, just the, the matte, like the matte colors. You did have the purple metallic. I did I never the had the metallic. Yeah. But you know what? I, knew yeah, that. you know what? I would still say that the original matte ones are my favorite, though. Like the very original ones, not the chrome they ones. They, they, they were chrome. My blue one was chrome. It was the chrome? red one was chrome. No, I had a purple one. It wasn't chrome. You didn't have the red. Okay, so you did have the purple. And, uh -huh. and mine was shiny. Uh -huh. And it had 
I had the Shadow Borg. He was oh, big. Shadow he was Borg. Tough. I remember he Shadow was, Borg. He the Power Rangers. Uh. He was a tough general. He was cool. And you know how I got the, you know how I got that? The, the very first Beetle Borg? Um, our cousin, Brandon, it was his birthday. He was like eight, nine years old. Oh. I was like 11. So it was like 1998. So I was like nine or 11, nine or 10. And um, it was his birthday, close to his birthday. So his parents took him to Toys R Us. And I was there to stay the night. They took us and they said, Brandon, pick a toy. It's your birthday. And so what do I do? And I, I, I still feel so stupid about this. Um, I stand there and you know, and he's like, oh, this is cool. The Beetle Borgs and all this stuff. And I go, oh, this is really cool. I'll help you pick a really good one. Oh, that's... It's really good, man. I wish I could. Uh, that's it. And he's like, oh, I want this one. I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Imagine, like, if I ever had that one, that would, we can play because they're, they're partners and they help. And they help. <laughs> it, it, it'd it just be so good. It'd be, it'd be. We could play. And, 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 you know, and, 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 you know, our, our aunt and uncle are right here standing, just looking like, like, really, like, is this kid really doing this? Mm-hmm. They're looking at each other, like. What are you oh, gonna do? What are you gonna do? Kind of thing. And I can hear her kind of whispering. I'm like, oh, it's working. It's working. Yeah. I mean, it would just be so awesome. If this <laughs> oh my it god. So cool. Right? Yeah. It sounds like you. And right. They're, right. They're, right? Them and they're like, okay, Adam. Why, why don't you pick one? What are you? Oh, thank you. I didn't even notice. And I felt so. Yeah, okay. Stupid. But, but you got your toy. I got my toy. You got your toy. I got my toy. My very yeah. first beetle board. This is so cool. Yeah. And I was just. That, oh I my, my gosh. Toy. Oh my and god. That's how I got. I still feel. Ugh, Ugh cringy. I got my. I, I wish I had. Them. Uh, they were really, yeah. I. I yeah. wish I still had my. Yeah. My beetle board. That's one toy I do miss. Is like my beetle board. Nice like, oh. It's sort of a Power Rangers. Remember that they flipped heads. Yeah. They flip their head and they'd have these. They had the yeah. shield that kept falling. I hated that. Yeah. We had all the cool ones, and then that's Beetle right. Board followed them. Superhuman Samurai. I had him. Yeah. That was a cool. I loved that one. I had it for years. Didn't you have Giver? Did you have Giver? No, because that's what I called the Giver. Oh. Uh, because they look so similar. Uh, I would just pretend he was the Giver. Oh, okay. And I just call him the Giver. Yeah. Oh, you know the yeah. Oh, that's a. Give me the Mark Giver. Hamill, yeah. Luke Skywalker is in that original one, and I'm like. Really? Who does he play? He's a Giver. He's, you know what's funny? Because they, they, he's Mark Hamill, right? So they put him in the front of the package, and it's half Guyver and it's half Mark Hamill, and they're like Mark Hamill in the Guyver. Ah. He, he's he's the officer. He's the, he's a detective who's running with them. Who talks to Mika or, or not? Uh, me. Or, uh, whatever her name is. The the one lady. Uh, Minsk, Minsk, Minsk. Minsk. Oh. Remember, uh, my father died last night. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. But it's it's not about him. It's about the other guy who's a guy. Right? Yeah. But just because you know he's Mark Hamill and he plays the officer and he's like a, he's like a sub character like. Got to put Mark he, Hamill in there. Why not? You got to. Yeah, he got to put Mark that Hamill. Was, that was really good. Yep. I was. That was. Uh, that was a good movie. It was funny. Yeah, I remember Jeez. Guyver. Oh my the god. One was good. And- I remember when, when he has that in the anime, he has that breastplate and he opens and he shoots his mega smash. Oh, yeah, I remember. Kevin and Matthew, when they were washing, it cracked up so bad. Yeah. They go, is he, is he grabbing his boobies and shit? Yeah. They were laughing. <laughs> I, I never thought about that. Like, he kind of is. He's kind of like exposing and kind of. Well, That's weird. Yeah. Oh, well, it's kind of, but it's Japan, right? Yeah. What you think? You're looking at it, you're like, wait, and yeah, yeah. It, like, like, oh, that's, that's true, I guess. You yeah. Know, you know, but yeah. that was that was funny. So, yeah, I remember the Beetleboards. <laughs> yeah. We had those. Yeah. The Superhuman Samurai. Mm-hmm. Um, when Star Wars came out, we didn't get much of the toys, but the toys were huge. I got some of the toys. You did get some of the toys. I did get some of the toys. Yeah. And they were, they, I mean, that was huge. Remember I think I had, a, I had a Qui Gon Jin. I did. did you? Yes, I had the Qui Gon. I had Qui Gon Jinn. I remember his him and his little green lightsaber, and that was the I only to. That. No, it was mine. Was that yours? That was mine. Yeah, because you had Obi Wan. And then they were like, I remember I seen them. I'm like, I like Qui. I got Qui Gon. I'm oh, like, yeah. yeah. I I don't want to talk too much about Star Wars. That'll be a whole conversation yep. another time. But we got we got we'll Star revisit Wars, that. Yeah, we'll revisit. Yeah, we'll we'll revisit. Like, like you said, you want to go through one, two, three. Like yep. prequel. That was like our our, oh. our time when it came. Even out. the lightsabers so, we got. Yeah. All the yeah, lightsaber yep. and the yep. movie we got. Yeah. too much to talk about okay well, well, we'll that's start it. bringing oh. it in here we got oh this is so fun do you remember when we used to play dollhouse 
Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That big. I had the play doll school dollhouse. The preschool dollhouse. Those play. I had pre. Yeah, was it? Is a place? Was it play school or preschool? The kids. Place. It was probably play school. I had two different ones. I think. I think I have two. I had two different ones. I had the play school one, and then I had the preschool one. Because you had the one we used the most. And I remember it was the open face. It was the open house. One. I miss all that house. I want that house that again was, so bad. That was so cool. We used to play that all the time, and I would bring in all my stupid little boy toys. And that was so like the back cave. Was, was was married to your. Your, your 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 mom there she had the mom with the kids and yeah. they were and the, and the batman had to go in the stupid minivan and yeah. put the kids in the back and, and drive, drive. yeah and this batman here yeah he would drive yeah and then red robin would be in the back yeah. sometimes and he would do his voice really funny my rules remember you had to play right for a little while because all you wanted to do was just be like shoot and fight yeah, and yeah, i'm like right. yeah my I my condition is you have to play right at <laughs> least for a little while you want to use my house and jump you off the house i'm right. like yep yeah, you got to play right at least for a little while activities like yeah open the door make the food put, put <laughs> yeah. the kids in, in the in the van and all yeah the stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah and me i'm just like we need to freeze is coming to attack that yeah and we need to get um, the <laughs> yeah and we gotta call in people come here yeah, I remember. I'm like, wait, oh. no, you gotta play your ride. We gotta go in the van and, and, and everything. Minutes, I'm like, that's yeah. being attacked. Like, we got through the first wave. You're gonna, we're gonna yeah. wait for the second wave, and you're like, no, I'm done. No, no more attacking yeah. the house. No, yeah, no, we, we play right. Go, go back to yeah, the, play oh, okay, ride. Right. Let's, let's go to school, kids. Get in the stupid. Yeah, no matter what, then it'll lead back to you. Oh, we're being under attack, and oh, they're yeah, the car now. no, Godzilla oh, came. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We got Godzilla. Godzilla came <laughs> and attacked the house. Oh my, I so remember funny. those. Yep. Yep. I remember those days. Yep. We we had the the, the dopiest storylines and they were oh, cringe. Always cringy now i think but i'm like oh were gosh we we're so dorky and cringy yeah but i was just having a good old time batman was yeah, always on top I remember, of the roof i remember I those but yeah he was always on top i, I remember those dollhouse. you know what? i try to look them up now those are hard to get and hard to even find I, i'd be shocked if you i, I couldn't find and it. they're expensive they like to buy one they're on ebay but they're obviously open box and some of them are different colors too so maybe there's different versions of them made yeah maybe it came out late yeah the, 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 the quality and condition changes because yeah. a lot of them have been owned buy some little girl buy some kids so sometimes they're right. trash, they're broken they're torn yeah that's the hard part about getting what i have now like they're not in perfect condition but i would love because they've been owned by somebody. oh yeah and they've been around like a long time long time like this resident evil has been around since 1997 98 she's 2024 i'm surprised this scene hasn't yellowed more and got worse and yeah look here from 99 this is from 1998 link and and that stuff it's like i mean that's why i take care of it because that's to get that now but those ones are in new new ish condition yeah but all this stuff you see online and they have it but it's the conditions yeah the condition is terrible yeah um i remember that the most that was, that was <laughs> uh and then the toys were expensive on oh, toys now have you seen the toys now because you, you you buy a lot for brenda but which one i've seen the figures and the, and the all these new superhero stuff now that they have yeah they're the quality isn't as great anymore mm -hmm. the quality they're really small. yeah they're really they're small they're like they're more like uh, like miniature like miniature action yeah. figures and just but they're more expensive though they are i bought you know i bought a couple of the newer recent you know the batman ones like um that batman the recent most recent batman they came out with um the guy oh, the batman yeah, yeah the yeah, batman yeah. the guy Rob, the twilight guy yeah the twilight Rob guy yeah Patterson? Rob Hatter, there you go. So I bought some, I did buy some of his toys. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I got some of those toys, it. but they're really small. They're like tiny, like real, like yeah. this, like, they're like, you know. Three, they're like four inches. Yeah. Which back in the day, they used to be six inches, and that matters. The two inches of Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. now, yeah, now they're. And they were cheaper. And now they're like, like miniature, and they're expensive, and they're like they're miniature. Pricey. Yeah, they're like miniature. They're pricey. The, the only toys I really like now are like the, the Marvel figurines, like when I bought you that Wanda one. I'm like, yeah. That's. These are like pretty cool ones coming out. Yeah. But they're still like $25. I'm like, okay, that's worth it. But when you go back to the aisle for the kids, yeah, four inches. Yeah, I go to Target. You're almost yeah. paying like $18. I'm like, yeah. I, why wouldn't I just pay six, seven dollars more for a much higher, better quality? Even the Batmobile, like the reason they have the Batmobile, it's like tiny. It's like small. They're tiny. It's kind of small. Pricey. Yeah, they are very pricey, but I'm like, this is nowhere like near. It looks like a miniature collection. Like I want to add to my collection, but it looks miniature. It looks like I'm a miniature it's, collection. It's tiny. It's almost, not like the way it was. Before. Yeah, it, it almost feels like there should be a bigger version out there. Like I got the tiny version, but yeah, no. I wish I we. Yeah. I wish they would make them bigger or like how they used to make them. Yeah, they're it just, was crazy. It just in the nineties, it was always just so funny, just because the commercials would come yeah. out and it was like, I need to get this. Yeah. And it would go back to its show and it would go back to commercial and then it had a new product. Yeah. Like no, I need to get this one. Yeah. And I used to always want that. And it was always like every time they had the brother and the little girl, they, they knew how to sell this stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's sassy. Ooh, I'm going to get her with that. Yeah. <laughs> and all. 
It yep. was, it, you always wanted the reaction. Yeah. That was a selling point. Like, oh, I'm going to react. They're going to think I'm so funny and so cool. Yeah. I'm going to get such a big reaction. Yep. yep. It was just, oh boy. Yeah. So that's that's what I got so far on my list for, for our talk, which is over over an hour, I'm sure. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we have we have, we have a lot more topics for our yeah. podcast. This is just good for a pilot. I mean, there's so many more toys and figures and action figures we could talk about. Oh, yeah. We could go on and on, but I think this on was good on. covering a lot. Captain Planet. Yes. Ca- yeah. Oh, don't get yeah. me started on Captain Planet. Oh my God. He's our That's hero. Awesome. He's our hero. It's gonna Which, take him down, down to, to zero. zero. Yes. There's TV shows, trading cards, Pogs. Oh, we'll talk about Oh man, there's so, there's just so much more. All this old stuff we have. So we scratched the surface a little bit today, which is we good. We scratched the surface. But yeah, there's so there's so much more to I'm go over. I'm surprised at how much you actually remember mm-hmm. of stuff that I barely remember because yeah. I remember the whole Ninja Turtle, but I forgot his head switch. Yes. And I'm like, well, because right. when I was little, I spent a lot of time pulling those apart and breaking those <laughs> Ninja Turtle toys. <laughs> yes. Because I was trying to get the head and like switch. I'm like, how do you do this? So I ended up breaking your toys and then I put it back oh, in your backpack. I put it back oh, in your oh, toy oh. backpack. And I'm like, why is this thing falling? Because it was cheap. It was on a little yeah. hinge of plastic. Yeah. Once you pop that out, that's it. And while you're at school, I didn't go to school yet. So while you're at school, I had a lot of time. I remember I'd come home and be like, you know, we just got a hold of it. Yeah. Ricky Raccoon. Remember Ricky Raccoon? Yeah. And that raccoon we were fighting over and we were spinning and then his tail ripped. And I go, you don't kill them. Yeah, we were always fighting over toys. We were always fighting over toys. It was so funny. Still are nowadays, but, you yeah. know, now we're married and our spouses don't really like that. So <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Nothing we can't like fight over. Toys. We can't fight over toys anymore. I remember how much the, the, the show's influence because whenever Captain Planet would do something and I have the toy, I would do the exact same thing. Yeah. Or you know what yeah, really yeah. did it was Batman. Remember the old blue Batman from the 60s? Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that was in this big situation where say they're in a big pot or it's a big water thing or, or a shark's about to get them yeah shark's gonna get them or, or they're in quicksand yeah i used to try to replicate that like crazy i would get all my toys i'll take them outside i'll get water pour it on, on on the soil and i would always put them in the mud and, yeah and, and slow i spent an hour or more you would bury your toys sometimes them, yeah pretend but slowly yeah, I slowly torture my toes. As, as an adult, I'm like, that was kind of. You're just replicating. Oh, so you're replicating the scene. That's right in my head. I'm like, how are they going to save them? How's it going to get yep. out of this? And they're going up, and for an hour, just slowly, like meticulous. I know you would sit there quietly oh, and do that quietly. And more, more mud. Where's more mud? Oh, yeah. it's coming up. And then I'll yep. cover his face. I'm like, oh, he can't breathe. Uh, he gonna get then he gets out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we buried your toys. We a lot. did a lot of, of funny things, yep. and, and the, the, the last thing, and it has nothing to do with toys, but just because it reminded me of, of mud in um, Santa Paula that we always talk about. Oh, is, the car! Is the car? The car, yeah. So, so what was that car? It was a Corvette. I think it was a Corvette. Was it, was it was a, a nice. I don't know. It was, it was a nice. A it was a nice green car, sports I car. It was red. Was it green? I heard. I heard it was green. A nice green. I think it was green. I remember it's red, but it, even it could be. I don't know. But I remember, what were you, two? And I was, two or three? I was about three. Four or five. I was like three, you're probably five. And and we were playing, because downstairs, I always had that little mud where the flowers were underneath our staircase. I yeah. used to put all my toys in it. And I remember, I don't know how we got the idea, but somehow we thought, let's go wash his car, but with mud. Yeah. And we thought, what a good idea. We should put mud at the top of the car and see like if we could cover it in mud. And That'd we, be fun. We just cover from the side. Also, we, we yeah. got on top. Of oh, we should throw mud pies. We said. We should throw. Mud. <laughs> we should throw. We, mud. So we should. Who was watching us? No way. See, but back then we would go outside by ourselves. Sometimes yeah. we would go outside by ourselves. I was three. Yeah. Remember, we would go play with the neighbor. We'd just be by our mom. Would just shout, "Are you guys down there? Yes. 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 We're here. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. That was her checking in on us, and we were alone for a couple minutes and by ourselves. And we would. We just got the idea. We should totally we put mud totally pies. I mean, we put mud all over yeah. the front, the top, the sides. We were walking on his car. We were walking on top of the hood. Yeah, I don't know why we did that. And we got more mud. And I remember the, the window, the windshield, yeah. we really went to work on Yeah, it. we weren't trying to be me. We just like, we, we were really not. We weren't trying to be because yeah, somebody's going to like. Yeah, we thought it would be cool. We thought it was fun. They're like cool. mud pies and, you know. Yeah, yeah. It'd be mud pies. And also we're, wa- we're mudding it up because... I don't know. We thought it would just be such a good idea. We thought it was a good... such a good idea. Well, I was three, so. Yeah, whatever you did, you're like, this is good too. You just, just like, let's do it. I'm like, okay, oh, okay, that's a good idea. And, and I remember when mom came out, she she 
it was on top of the stairs. It was an old apartment. We were at the bottom, and the car was parked like right in front of the staircase. So all she had to do was step out and look, and her face was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" And we're just laughing like we're washing the car, and she's like, "Get in here!" You know? And we oh ran my up there, and she's like, "He's gonna be so." And then she threw us in the bathroom. And we were all mud. We were covered in mud. Yeah, we, we were, were covered, covered in, in mud. mud. And then I don't remember. I don't remember it, but mom says that according to her, she just hears a guy going, <laughs> and oh my gosh. we washed an entire oh. brand new, beautiful looking car with, with mud. mud and rocks and gravel. Yeah. Because there was some rocks. There was and definitely rocks in there. there. there was... We probably scratched his car, dented it. Put mud and water everywhere. The paint, and he probably had the hand paint, paint had hand and footprints on footprints. his car. <laughs> I can't imagine little midget footprints all over his car. Oh my god! He's probably looking like who has a child here? Yeah. Who, whose and feet we, are these? If he knocked on our door, mom would be like, you "Don't exist. Get in the room. Yeah. I don't have children." Right yeah, now. be quiet. I don't be know who. Don't my kid have been inside all day. My kids yeah, have my been kids, inside. Yeah. They wouldn't oh do that. My gosh. That's... Yep. And that was the worst. So okay. I guess we'll we'll end it on that note. We'll end it on that note. So so this yeah. is our first pilot podcast, and so yep. we have lots of ideas, and and we're gonna talk about as a sneak peek in the future. Nineties trends is fun. Um, video games we grew up with: Star Wars episode one to three, Michael Keaton films, Halloween, Halloween commercials. Yeah, Goosebumps is fun. Yeah. Um, the the fast food restaurant commercials were yeah. great. That the fast food. Um, uh, toys. Yes. Remember the, the yep. Happy Meals and the Mighty Kids Meal. And, yep. And then just movies and stuff that we've made. I mean, we got we got lots of stuff. Cool. Yeah, lots of material to cover. It was our, our childhood so that people get to see kind of like you know where, where we came from and um, some of our memories and, and yeah. when our kids see this one day, they're gonna be like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hope. Uh, I hope my kid never does Brenda, that. I hope do she that. never washes my car. Don't ever wash my cars. <laughs> ever. Nope, never. Ever. Not in mud, anything. gravel. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that's gonna that's gonna cover our podcast for now. Thank you so much for anybody who's watching for fun because it's fun. This is this is really for us. And this is another thing. This is another thing I was talking about just as a, as a finisher. Is is what I love is that we get to be ourselves unashamed and and enjoy our life because so many people are so worried about everyone looking at them and what they think about it and i'm like i'm a program director i get to be you know an adult all day and when i get to have fun i have like all this cool stuff that reminds me of our fun childhood stuff you and i get to talk about even to this day we're still talking about movies from back then going yeah. wait a second but do you remember the sequel and yeah. all this <laughs> stuff and, and the old toys will look at that and go do you remember the monster Ball? we're still geeking oh, about it now <laughs> that's and, true and, 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 you know, and we have we have you know the old bending was also a big kid yeah you know he's 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 in his 50s you know coming up to his 60s maybe we'll have maybe we'll have him as a guest Let's during our star wars guest. episode we'll talk about the star oh, yes no. oh he's, he's got, got a lot of second. insight we'll do yeah our first one by ourselves yeah second one with him because he he's got stuff to talk he's about. got a lot of insight jango fed that came up months before yeah he didn't even know who he was uh, he'll talk about that. We'll, yeah. we'll get our uncle on yep. here and he'll talk. But, but he's a great example of like, you could be a big kid, man, and, it, and it's and be yourself and enjoy. These unapologetically, things. not in shame. Yeah. Just be yeah. yourself and enjoy. Shame. Yeah, just be, be yourself, yourself and enjoy. You know, have confidence, enjoy mm -hmm. it. And, um, and just enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I just so many people are so worried and so self-conscious. And I'm just like, yeah, you know. But thank enjoy you. It. And this this has been fun. So thank you. And yeah, we'll do this again soon. Pick up some more topics. We'll do it again. Yes. Okay, thank you all. Thank See you. you later. Bye.